Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we are going to solve one radical equation problem. It is cube root of x plus 6 whole power 6 minus 16 over x plus 4 times x plus 8 equal to 1. And we have to find out real solutions only. So let's get started with our denominator itself. I can write denominator cannot be 0. So x cannot be equal to negative 4 and negative 8. Now I can cross multiply. So I will be writing our equation as cube root of x plus 6 whole power 6 minus 16 equal to x plus 4 times x plus 8. Now I can write x plus 4 as x plus 6 minus 2 and x plus 8 I can write x plus 6 plus 2. Now you can see if I will consider this is a and b respectively then we have a minus b times a plus b. Identity it is difference of two squares formula a square minus b square. So I will be writing our equation as cube root of x plus 6 whole power 6 minus 16 equal to x plus 6 whole square minus 2 whole square or 4. Now let us use substitution. So I will consider x plus 6 equal to a. So I can write our equation as cube root a power 6 minus 16 equal to a square minus 4. So cube root of a power 6 minus 16 equal to a square minus 4. Our substitution was x plus 6 equal to a. Now I will multiply this equation with minus 1. So I can write minus of cube root a power 6 minus 16 equal to 4 minus a square. Now I will take this minus into this cube root. So it will become cube root of 16 minus a power 6. This will be equal to 4 minus a square. So after rearranging the terms I can write a square plus cube root of 16 minus a power 6 equal to 4. Now I will use substitution to solve this radical equation. So I will consider this radicant equal to b power 6. So let us write 16 minus a power 6 equal to b power 6. So from here a power 6 plus b power 6 equal to 16. And from this equation itself I can write a square plus cube root of b power 6 equal to 4. So cube root of b power 6 it is b square. So a square plus b square equal to 4. So here we have one new system of equation. a square plus b square is equal to 4 and a power 6 plus b power 6 is equal to 16. Let's solve for the value of a. I will write a square plus b square is equal to 4 and a power 6 plus b power 6 equal to 16. So I will consider our first equation and then I will consider its cube. So a square plus b square equal to 4. Let us consider cubing both sides. So I will write power 3 power 3. Now a plus b whole cube formula. So I will write a square whole cube plus b square whole cube plus 3a square b square in bracket a square plus b square. Right hand side will be 64. Now I can write here a power 6 plus b power 6 plus 3a square b square 
and from equation number 1 this bracket is 4 equal to 64. Now from equation number 2 I can write 16 plus 3a square b square times 4 equal to 64. Let's divide this equation by 4. So 4 plus 3a square b square equal to 16. So 3a square b square this value will be 12. Divide both sides by 3. I will get a square times b square this value will be 4. Now I will consider our first equation and this equation. If you will consider one quadratic equation whose roots are a square and b square then we have sum of roots and product of roots. Let me write here a square plus b square equal to 4 a square times b square is equal to 4. So I can consider one quadratic equation in T whose roots are a square and b square then we have sum of roots and product of roots known. So I can write t square minus sum of roots 4t plus product of roots again 4 equal to 0. So this is one perfect square t minus 2 whole square equal to 0. So from here we can write t will be equal to 2 and 2. So I will consider both the roots a square b square 2 each. So let me write here a square is equal to 2. So I can write a will be equal to plus minus a square root 2. Now let us apply the value of our substitution back. I will be writing here a is equal to plus and minus root 2. Our substitution was x plus 6 was a. So I will be writing here x plus 6 equal to plus minus root 2. Taking away 6 from both sides. So I will write x plus 6 minus 6. This will be equal to minus 6 plus minus root 2. Now I can cancel these two numbers. So x will be equal to minus 6 plus minus root 2 or we can write x is equal to minus 6 plus root 2 minus 6 minus root 2. And this brings the end of this video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.